Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to Caroline Shaji's channel. Now, if you remember, we had been discussing direct and indirect speech, and today I am about to begin lesson ten. Now, in the previous video, I had been discussing about how the past continuous tense. changes when we change it from direct to indirect speech and we had learned that the past continuous tense takes the past perfect continuous form when we change a sentence from direct to indirect speech and i had also given you some questions as a homework so let's first look at the answers Now if you can see my screen I have the questions here along with the answers and I'm sure that all of you might have got them right now if you didn't there's nothing to worry just look at how it works and try to understand and then you need to keep practicing so pick up few more sentences and practice now today we are going to start with lesson 10 and lesson 10 is so easy i assure you because i am going to be discussing only two things and those are how the sentence changes if i were using the past perfect tense and if i were using the past perfect continuous tense well dear friends If you were changing a sentence from direct to indirect speech and that sentence were written either in the past perfect tense or the past perfect continuous tense then there would be no change in the tense when we change the sentence from direct to indirect speech it means i just need to copy the question into the answer with a few very few minor changes so let us take only two examples rita said i had done my work rita said i had done my work this sentence is going to change in this way rita said that we have discussed earlier that the comma gets removed and that takes its place rita said that she so i is rita and rita is a girl so she had done her work i had done my work so when rita is talking she is saying i and my and you need to change the sentence into she and her but that had done as you can see is not changing at all now let's take another example ravina said i had been playing caroms ravina said i had been playing caroms now where i is concerned that is ravina So when I change my sentence into the indirect speech there I'm going to change I into she but the rest of the sentence is going to remain just the same so my answer is going to be Ravina said that she had been playing caroms now I have some homework for you just like always try to complete the homework and i'm sure that this particular part of the chapter was really easy for all of you why because there is no change that happens the only little change that takes place is that we change the pronouns the rest of the sentence remains the same so thank you and enjoy your day ahead <laughs> 